You asked me yesterday why I care so much about the Palestinians. And I think the deepest answer is a bit philosophical or will sound it or mystical. But I don't believe in the government anymore. I don't believe in money. I don't believe in abstraction. Like, like I know it exists as an idea. But you can't touch the government, right? Where's the government? Go touch it. You can't. The best you can do is you can find an office. You can find an animal that wears a uniform and sits at a desk and pretends to have a certain amount of values for a certain number of hours a day and does their best to act out the abstractions of the government ideals as, the, as they understand them. But it's all a freaking negotiation. The government is us. It's us, right? All social values that fall down on us are just our own ideas coming back down upon us. The government is camouflage for the people who are the best at manipulating it. I'm not trying to, I'm not being anti-government here, by the way. It's just, it's like the ego, right? Like, it's like the ego isn't real. <laughs> it's like a story we tell ourselves. But it's a necessary handle to um, take action in the world. And also, it's also a handle for you to be moved around by other people and by society. And the government's like that. So, well, like, when you have millions of people together, you've got to organise them. It's, like, it's just a mega tribe. Um, and the reason I'm saying all this is that what my tribe does is connected to what I do. Like, it's only a drop in the ocean, right? Like, it's like, yeah, it's a drop in the ocean. It's nothing. It's like one drop in the ocean, right? Why worry about that? Well, it's my drop. Right, it's my drop. And the older I get, the more important it is to me to be able to <laughs> rest in peace when I die. Like, I want my life to have brought more light than darkness to the world. I can't save the world. I know there's a sense in which the world is fallen, but I don't want to make it worse, you know? And I'm realising as I look back at the way I lived, like just seeking pleasure, turning away from any evil that made me uncomfortable so that I could have an easy life and as much pleasure as I could without thinking too hard about anything I didn't want to think about. That I absolutely contributed to the bad things that governments and cultures did in the world. Yeah, only a drop in the ocean, but it's my fucking drop. And I'm changing the drop now, you know, like... Like what is happening in Israel, in Palestine is, is one of the crimes of the century. Like it is, it's also about self-interest, right? Like it's like, this is gonna come back to bite us hard. Like this is not good for Western civilization. It's not good. <laughs> like it's, I know you're a bit afraid of Muslims, right? And I get why. But they wouldn't be the problem. Like, you wouldn't even have... The Islamic State would never have arisen if, if, if France and America and England, after World War II, didn't just plant Israel to make up for the sins of Europe against the Jews. The Palestinians who have no power, the great imperial powers can just wipe them off their land and and make Israel. And, and by the way, if you don't know this, the reason Israel exists is because Zionist terrorists just kept murdering English soldiers until the English gave up. They won it by terrorism. And all these secular people who defend Israel, and I know you're not a big defender of Israel, but it's like they use biblical logic. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the Bible. But somehow when it comes to Israel... Because the Bible is like, you know, their ancestors were there millennia ago. Like, yeah, let's just shaft the people who were living there, like, like in, in the in-between time. It's Anyway, I mean, you don't want to go over the history. But it's like, it's not a two-sides thing. Like, for every, like, Pal uh, Israeli-Palestinians killed, Israelis kill at least 100 Palestinians. 
I mean, like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that you have to agree with me, but it's important to me that you understand that I'm not just some stupid culture warrior on this subject, right? Like, in fact, I can't stand the victimhood culture that um, drives so much in the West today. But the victimhood culture is why this is happening too. Like, white liberal guilt gets absolutely manipulated by um, Jewish sob stories playing on the Holocaust, right? Like, this, like, Israel is perpetuating another Holocaust, right? People say never again, right? It means not just Jews. It means no, no, no genocide anywhere, right? And please don't keep saying that it's not a genocide because there's still Palestinians left, right? Yeah, there's still Armenians left. Doesn't mean the Turks didn't try to kill them all in Turkey. There's still Jews left. Doesn't mean the Germans didn't try to kill them all in Germany. Genocide is genocide. It doesn't have to be successful, right? Like, if someone tries to murder me, but they just stab me and wound me, it's like, it's not like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't, I wasn't murdered. It's like, anyway, I don't want to, I really don't want to lecture you. Like, but it's, this shit is so important. It's so important. Like, it's... And I, maybe that's all I need to say because because the history of this would take hours and hours to talk about. But what happened on October the 7th was, was brutal. It was terrifying to Israelis. Like, I, I can only imagine. Like, it's like their worst nightmare because they know their neighbours kind of hate them. <sighs> but there's so much lies about what happened. There is no rapes proved at all. There is not a single testimony. There were no mass baby murders. There's one baby dead in Israel on record. And the, and the Israeli um, helicopters blew up a lot of Israelis. Like, this is, this is facts. Israelis know this. Um, but since then, for nearly a year, I mean, we've got tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians killed. Some Hamas killed too. But where is the equality here, right? I mean, the Palestinians are in a prison. They've got no rights. They go, we go through checkpoints. Their olive groves in the West Bank get ripped up. Settlers take, like, it is a nightmare. Right? If you're a Palestinian, the Israelis are like Darth Vader and the Empire. This is not an inappropriate metaphor. This is what it feels like to be Palestinian. Ever since the 40s, when they got driven out of their lands, they've just been pushed and pushed and oppressed and oppressed. Well, what happens to people when you do that to them? They fight back. Like, all murder is tragic. Israel needs to be saved as well. Like, I don't want Israel destroyed. Israel is destroying itself. But what they're doing in Gaza is just... It's, it's war crimes. I mean, it's, it's... And this is not just my opinion. It's objectively war crimes by, by international standards. They're deliberately starving the population. And they're not fighting Hamas. They're just blowing the city to hell because they don't, have, they don't have the courage to actually go down into the tunnels and fight them and lose men. So all they're doing is they're just bombing the city. They're just killing everyone there. And that's how they're fighting Palestine. That's how they're fighting, huh, that's how they're fighting Hamas, by just killing everybody. The idea that there's some sort of selective attack going on, I mean, they're trying, like, there's some degree of, like, you know, obviously they're, like, there's moments where they see fighters and stuff, but broadly their approach is just kill fucking everyone. Like, it's, you know, and 
Genocide is also like ethnic cleansing. It's like a lower level of it. So they don't necessarily want to kill all the Palestinians, but they want to drive them out of Israel, right? So they're making it unlivable. So the Palestinians become refugees in Egypt and Jordan, and then the US has to pay for it all, and the international community has to pay for it. And they've just completely succeeded in ethnically cleansing all the original and descendant original descendants of that land so they can replace it with their colonial Western democracy. So you can see why this makes me really uncomfortable, I hope. You know, like because God help me, my vanity is such that I'm really interested in history and politics and culture and religion, and I see what's happening. And the noblest ideas in our culture, in Western culture and Jewish culture, are being used to justify genocide. And that's about the worst thing that a culture can do. Like, the worst thing. I mean... Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. You know, it's you don't you don't have to like Muslims. After Islamic State, I understand why people are don't. You know, some people. But I'm telling you, they wouldn't be an issue politically if it wasn't for Israel. Like, why do you think? <laughs> why do you, what do you think makes? Fundamentalist Muslims go crazy and want to kill themselves to murder Westerners, right? It's just that they're crazy and hate Christians. Maybe it's like they can see what's happening in Palestine that we never show on our media. Like, we never show the Darth Vader face of Israel, right? Like, like it's like you know that, right? It's, this is not a battle between equals. This is David and Goliath and... And David ain't Israel anymore.